guys and welcome back today we are doing a trader joe's grocery haul some food organization like fridge pantry maybe food prep just thought i would include it instead of doing a plain grocery haul i wanted to include other things as well so yesterday i um, went and went to trader joe's picked up a bunch of stuff i'm gonna insert this haul in just a second and then today is the day that i organize and get everything kind of figured out in my pantry and fridge. It's not a horrible situation in there, but since I did buy a lot of snacks, I wanted to go ahead and fill the bins and organizers that I have and that I love. I know there's a lot of people who don't live near a Trader Joe's like I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you can live vicariously through me. And if you do decide to make a trip to Trader Joe's, maybe you get some good I yummy got ideas. Got Sydney likes my shirt today because See, it has tell you guys. because it has um a skull. Yeah, I still have to clean up after breakfast, yeah, yeah, but mama. then we'll get organizing. Ooh, you brushed your teeth. They're all nice and clean. Mm -hmm. I love I it. Like it. Mm -hmm. Every single time I go to Trader Joe's, all I want to do is stock up on all of the snacks, all of the frozen things, and prepared deliciousness of everything because we don't go very often. I think I went three times in the last 12 months. This week, we wanted some oranges for fruits. I decided to get her some blood oranges. I thought it would be something different. She's never had one. I like the color. I like the different variation of, you know, exposing her to different foods, even though it basically tastes the same, in my opinion. Um, and then a cucumber. She loves having a cucumber with hummus or just sliced up cucumber for snacks and with lunches. This is kind of a random thing, but a taco seasoning mix. I'm almost out of the taco mix that I, um, I try to keep some stocked in my cupboards at all times. Sydney really wanted some Granny Smith apples. She just was begging for green apples. I personally do not like green apples. I like the red ones, but uh, we grabbed two of those for her. And then over here for frozen meals, I picked up this fettuccine Alfredo. I love fettuccine Alfredo. And again, I usually, when I go to Trader Joe's, pick more packaged frozen meals than I ever usually would. I always like to have my um, freezer stocked anyway. I do always like the gorgonzola gnocchi, so I picked that up. And then some chopped spinach. I love having chopped spinach on hand, frozen, because it's so convenient um, for eggs. So in Sydney's scrambled eggs, I'm constantly adding chopped spinach. It's just very convenient. And then also for snacks, sugar snap peas. Sydney loves those. I got some baby spinach, just fresh spinach to have for sandwiches and other recipes. So this sounded so yummy. I kind of wish I had gotten two of them, but I honestly do not have room in my freezer. It's a huge bag of Kung Pao uh tempura cauliflower i thought that sounded delicious i'm super weird about frozen meats i know a lot of people love the chicken like the orange chicken and whatnot and i'm just i'm just super weird about that but i figured tempura cauliflower sounded so good with maybe like I don't know. I, apparently it already has a sauce on it, but I'll let you know what I think of that. And then my staple vegetable fried rice. I actually still have, I think one bag of vegetable fried rice from the last haul that I had. So I only picked up one bag this week. <laughs> Mommy needed some chocolate in the house. I'll always grab at least one pack of these chocolate lava cakes. They're so decadent and delicious. This with a glass of wine at the end of an evening mommy treat. I also picked up some hash browns. Love doing some Trader Joe's frozen hash browns for breakfast, but I feel like these taste better than other ones that I've bought. I don't know. I know they're just hash browns, but I think they taste better. It's probably all in my head. Uh, Sydney picked out some blueberry waffles. If you have not tried this, you need to. It is so addicting. It's so good. Everything bagel or everything but the bagel, uh, Greek style yogurt dip. You guys, this is so yummy. Dip crackers in here all day long, crackers and cucumbers. I grabbed some potato pancakes. These are frozen and I got this with uh, breakfast in mind. So throwing like a egg on top of it or something with cheese. I thought that sounded really yummy. This is a repurchase. One of the last times we went, I got these for Sydney and she loved these. These are bayo buns, Philly cheese steak. They do have some like peppers in there. I think it's like a cheese sauce or something. She really likes those and they're in steam buns. And so it's a really convenient lunch to get her some protein and something different since mommy doesn't eat beef or anything like that. She can still 
eat that and enjoy it. This is something I have never tried before, but apparently it's a super popular or very highly rated dinner dish. It's frozen. It's a French onion macaroni and cheese. This was on their website of like something people raved about. So I had to try this when I saw it. I snagged it. And then a frozen cheese pizza. We usually like this family style cheese and mozzarella or cheese and tomato pizza. It's really yummy. One time they were giving samples. Boy, do I miss Trader Joe's samples. <laughs> um, but yeah, picked up a pizza. And then these were really good the last time I tried them. These are everything ciabatta rolls. Can you tell I like everything seasoning and everything stuff? Um, this is really good for like grilled sandwiches, grilled chicken on them and whatnot. I got some chocolate chip muffins for breakfast. And then I always stock up on seasonings. If there are some that I haven't seen before or some that I know I'm low on, I always grab their seasonings. So I grabbed some sea salt. I'm almost out of my sea salt. I really like this because it's just the twisty kind and it gives you a little bit of like granulated sea salt crystals love that this is a newer one i had never seen it before citrusy garlic it has um bright citrus and allium oh my word i don't know how to say this an allium blend with salt i will let you know what i do with it or what i think about it if you have used this let me know what you put it on then i have seen a few people use this the 21 seasoning salute they've seen a bunch of people use it so i'll have to figure out how and what to put it on Another everything seasoning. This is everything but the, il oh my word, elote, chili pepper, cheese, chipotle, and cumin. Uh, something that I haven't had and have been needing is turmeric. I have been needing this in my pantry, so I just grabbed that. And then this sauce was calling my name. It's a sweet and spicy sauce. This is an all-purpose sauce, so I figured with chicken that would be really yummy. Um, another thing for breakfast, I ended up getting quick cook steel cut oats. I love steel cut oats. They are very good for you um but these are quick cooks so at least i can still make them in the yeah. microwave early in the morning for sydney um we are almost out of our regular old-fashioned rolled oats sydney also wanted some apple sauces this week and she picked this kind usually we do the pouches from trader joe's but she wanted this um just regular applesauce with cinnamon and i need to hurry up and put this milk in the refrigerator so i got some two percent milk sydney enjoys drinking that that's what we just buy usually 12 grain mini snack crackers sydney is super into crackers whether they're plain dipped in hummus or mm, i should have got two boxes of these one for me too um in that everything but the bagel dip so stinking good she also picked out these she's never had the cheese ones before she usually gets the peanut butter but she decided to get the mini cheese sandwich crackers and then a bunch of bars so the first one are date bars she picked out the coconut and chocolate ones they're mostly well you can see right here all the ingredients just five ingredients dates almond butter coconut unsweetened chocolate cocoa powder um, and then they do have peanut butter versions but she wanted the coconut version she also picked these fig uh, cereal bars and then these are my favorite and I haven't picked them up the last couple of times I went but these are my favorite the ABC bars almond butter cocoa bars they are so stinking good and I do not want to share them I just want them all to myself <laughs> yum and then other snacks for Sydney we always do these fresh edamame whenever we can find them for a little bit there they weren't um, selling them but I'm so glad they brought them back because these are a really nice high protein snack for Sydney something different and then also she wanted some yogurts. She ended up picking vanilla blueberry, half vanilla, half blueberry. And then she loves the snack, like the snack containers that have the cheese, dried cranberries and cashews and things like that. So I saw these and I thought these would be really good for her or not like good for her, but yummy to munch on. Orange flavored dried cranberries. Um, I just, I don't know, something different to have instead of fruit snacks because we don't do fruit snacks in this house very often. She wanted some cheese sticks, so we got some Colby Jack snack cheese sticks, some provolone cheese for grilled sandwiches and whatnot. We already broke into these in the car, mommy and her, some animal crackers. One time, like two years ago, she remembers, they were giving away uh kids like animal crackers when they were doing the samples and she's been obsessed every single time we go to trader joe's she asks for them so i got her a nice big tub of animal crackers 
mommy got a bottle of wine i ended up getting 14 hands red blend i like a good red blend or cabernet and that was calling my name i think it was on sale too it wasn't horribly priced i never buy snacks for myself at the grocery store that's why when i go to trader joe's i want all the snacks and then i'm so happy that i have you know when i'm editing or like having a tv moment i never have snacks on hand that's why i like when i go to trader joe's peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets delicious they even have the no salt ones. I ended up just grabbing this one this week. Some Brazil nuts. I haven't had Brazil nuts in my house for a little bit um, since this summer. They're really good for thyroid, so I wanted to have those on hand, and they're really inexpensive at Trader Joe's compared to like the natural health food store. And then some freeze-dried strawberries for City to munch on. They're really crunchy, and she really likes them. Uh, what is this? Some granola, almond butter granola. I thought this would be really good. I'm gonna do like some smoothie bowls. Wanna, oh no, I meant to get bananas. Oh well. I wanted to do some smoothie bowls and I thought that would be tasty on top. Some chips, cause I needed something to dip the dip in. So I grabbed some veggie crisps. And then the white cheddar corn puffs, as you can see, it's already opened because little miss, is, she's like me. She just is like, I need to eat all the snacks right now. Anyway, we just broke into this. We always get the white cheddar ones cause those are the best. I got some low sodium chicken broth, some creamy tomato soup. I just like to have these things in my pantry just for like quick lunches and just, I don't know, like this can be a base to a crock pot soup, just something easy, you know, um, and chicken broth as always. And then the last item I got was some sparkling water. I've been out. I need to grab some from Sam's Club. I like to grab, buy them in bulk, but I ended up getting this one. This one's really yummy. They have blueberry lemonade flavors. So that is everything I picked up this week from Trader Joe's. So now that you've seen my grocery haul, it's the next day and I am going to organize all of the snacks, put the bars in the bins and whatnot. Um, we pretty much were completely out of all of our snacks. So a lot of the bins have been empty in the pantry. So I'm just gonna fill them up, make them look nice and organized and easily accessible for Sydney. <laughs> best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless You'll see me change my mind so many different times in any organization video. I'm just trying to test where I want things until I am satisfied, but I love organizing Sydney snacks like this or my snacks in general. I mean, they're all Sydney's, let's be real here. Um, that way she can see what we have and just open the door to the pantry and pick out her own snacks. That's like the highlight of her day. She loves doing that. Um, and I just like the way that they look. It makes me feel less cluttered in my mind and I know what we have when we have it. Next up, using my favorite bin that I just mentioned in my last video, my kitchen favorites. This bin is from Target and it's where I store all of Sydney's snacks usually um, that live in the refrigerator. So I have her yogurts in the front compartment and then in the next compartment I have a bunch of cheese sticks that we just purchased from Trader Joe's. And then in the, in the last compartment I ended up just sticking the edamame and sugar snap peas before I um, like prepped them. I just stuck their containers in the last... Uh, Spot. We can pretend that we're just friends, yeah. But who are we kidding? We can pretend that we feel so getting Sydney snacks in containers like these where we can see when I run out, what I need to repurchase and things like that is so helpful. I found as far as like grocery shopping, organizing, and then keeping a nice little pantry stock. Um, you know, obviously things eventually run out, but I like having things in clear containers that both of us can see and it allows Sydney to be independent as well and like pick out her snacks. 
it's very like minimal things i know but i don't know i'm a visual person it's not to me but if you game i am willing to So I always end up doing this. I throw my new cheese in on top of my old cheese and then it gets buried and I have no idea which one is fresher. This is an entire month old. <laughs> I know I'm not the only one. <laughs> what baby? Something I'm definitely trying to do is uh, go through this more often and stay on top of my fridge. It gets away from us, you know, easily. Like if I'm have to hurry up um, and get home with some groceries and like boom, make dinner or film or edit, put Sydney to bed, and you know I can just throw things in the fridge. Um, but I have been trying to stay on top of it, so it's it's usually not you know as bad as it was um, this time. I'm usually staying on top of it a little better. But anyway, this is my deli drawer since I don't have um, a sliding drawer. It broke on me, so this is my deli drawer. I use it for my deli cheeses, my shredded cheeses, um, and dips. This happens to have her cottage cheeses and then the everything um, bagel, but the bagel dip in here. I forgot I have hot dogs that are actually still good in the, stored in this uh, container, so I'm going to pop these in here as well underneath the cheese. So it's going to be like our deli drawer, meats and cheeses. taking a little break from organizing. Um, I have a lot of stuff in containers and I've pretty much used all of my containers. Then I'm going to go through the rest of the fridge and I'll show you that one at the end of the video when everything is all taken care of and organized, straightened out. But I am going to take the moment before dinner, before I have to cook, to prep some pancake muffins. I've shown these on um, my channel several times. They're so easy. But Sydney's been asking for pancakes lately and I'm not going to lie, sometimes in the morning I just you know, just don't want to take the 10 minutes that it takes. So I'm going to make some of those. I'm going to pop some of them in the freezer and then it's an easy grab and go breakfast uh, option or snack option as well. So that's what I'm going to do. Set the oven to 350. I use um, just the Krusty's protein pancake mix. I mix this with water and then you can put like fruits. I think I have blueberries for fruit. You can do like chocolate chips, blueberries, strawberries, whatever fruit that you want in there or not fruit. Um, pop them into the muffin tins for like 15 to 20 minutes, depending on, you know, how fast things cook for you guys in your oven. And that's it. So I'm going to prep some of those.
sorry about the lighting it's super yellow because my hall light is very yellow anyway this is what this um, shelf looks like I have a lot of my pantry items like cocoa powder sugars flour and all of that but then Sydney's snacks I've got the goldfish up here just so because I don't know I put it in a, a glass jar and I don't want her to accidentally like drop it and break it and get hurt so I just have her animal crackers here the uh, corn puffs from Trader Joe's there as well as the chips these containers actually worked out wonderfully for the chips and the corn puffs and these will seal them to keep them hopefully fresh because I actually do not have a lot of chip clips so hopefully that system will work out really well and then this shelf right here are Sydney's snacks we have a bunch of pretzels I have a huge box from Sam's Club so I'm just gonna constantly like rotate those and then all of the Sydney's bars apple sauces some oranges that were left over I have the nuts the Brazil nuts the dried cranberries and then the dried strawberries you can't even see right there and then this one has all of the boxes we have you know the mixes that I had already had here cereal um, the cheese sandwich crackers the regular crackers my bars some like random popcorn and mommy's things there so that's what the pantry looks like right now and I think it's in a very good place all right now showing you inside my refrigerator i am really happy with what it looks like right now this always makes me so happy when i completely do a gut out so this is what it looks like for now i didn't really touch or do anything with the drawers we just have like produce um, fruits and vegetables in there and then all of this stuff is obviously everything that we use you saw this probably in the last video if you watched it i have um all of the eggs filled right here and then I have like a half a container of eggs there um, which actually I should probably make scrambled eggs for breakfast tomorrow to go with her little muffins and then I of course have my lazy Susan which I love if you guys haven't seen um, my last video I swear by this and then of course all of the uh, like deli type stuff and then I have my hummus in there a block of cream cheese and then over here we have our dairy usually don't have this many things but i have uh, our regular milk our oat milk i actually just worked with oat some so that's why i have like all three different types but we have the chocolate the barista and the uh, regular love oat milk i have a thing of heavy cream and then juices back here we usually don't drink juice but happen to have two things of juice open i have orange and cranberry i think grape nope orange and grape um and then down here i have a jug of water uh, random thing of tomatoes and then in here I have all of the yogurts so I just popped my yogurts on top too I love so random but the lemon is so good anywho so yogurts cheeses and then I haven't opened those I will probably prep them when Sydney is ready to eat them just so that they stay a little bit more fresh so the edamame and the sugar snap peas in there and then over here I usually don't buy sodas every week but I happen to be craving coke zero so that's why it's in here um so i have my seltzers a couple of energy drinks randomly back there for whenever i'm feeling like i need one super badly and then yeah drinks there and that's pretty much it love an organized fridge now this is another situation so we're, we're going to tackle that another time since it's almost nine o'clock at night all right you guys on that note i'm going to end today's video i have a lot of cleaning up to do after making the pancake bites and dinner and whatnot so i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll talk to you in the next video look out i'll probably have a vlog coming up soon so look out for that bye